Mark chapter 4, King James Version. And he began again to church by the seaside, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea. And the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables, and said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow, and it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up, and some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up, and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And other fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprung up and increased, and brought forth some thirty, and some sixty, and some a hundred. And he said unto them, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked him of the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries, the mystery of the kingdom of the Almighty to are born to them that are without all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately, and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground who when they have heard the word immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves and so endure but for a time after was when affliction or persecution ariseth for the word's sake immediately they are offended and these are they which are sown among thorns, which such as hear the word, and the cares of this word, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the loss of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. And he said unto them, Is a candle brought to be put under a bush uh, or under a bed? And not to be set on a candlestick, for there is nothing hid which shall not be manifested, neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath to him shall be given, 
and he that hath not from him shall be taken even that which he has. And he said, So is the kingdom of the Almighty to us if a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knoweth not how for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself first the blade then the ear after that the full corn in the ear but when the fruit is brought forth immediately he put it in the sickle because the harvest is come and he said whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of the almighty to I? or with what comparison shall we compare it it is like a grain of mustard seed which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the seeds that be in the earth but when it is sown it groweth up and become met greater than all herbs, and shooteth out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. And with many such parables speak he the word unto them as they were able to hear it, but without a parable speak he not unto them, and when they were alone he expounded all things to his disciples and the same day when the even was come he said unto them let us pass over unto the other side and when they had sent away the multitudes they took him even as he was in the ship and there were also with him other little ships and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perished? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How ah, is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this? What that even the wind and the sea obey him?